Shireen Abu Akleh, a Palestinian reporter working for Al Jazeera, was shot and killed by Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank. It is worth noting she was wearing a vest with the word press clearly marked on it and was not reporting from an active war zone. Rather, this was an Israeli raid on the town of Jenin. Shireen's death almost exactly a year after the offices of Al Jazeera and a number of other media outlets were bombed and destroyed during the war in Gaza in 2021. The fact is, journalists have become targets all over the world. In just the last five months, 11 have been killed in Mexico alone. It is likely last year's total killings will be tripled in 2022. Joining us now from Doha in Qatar is Tamar al Michal from Al Jazeera's Arabic uh, channel. Salam, Tamar, and thank you for your time. Condolences from all of us here uh, at TVNZ for the loss of Shireen. Tell us, first of all, what are the facts as they stand right now? What have eyewitnesses said happened compared with what the Israelis have said have happened? Thank you very much uh, for your uh, condolences and for your uh, feelings. Unfortunately, we, uh, we feel sad. It was a very sad day and shocking day that we lose one of our unique and senior correspondents, Shireen Abu Akla. Shireen Abu Akla worked for more than 20 years as a uh, based correspondent in the Palestinian territories in Jerusalem and West Bank. She covered uh, uh, Palestinian territories uh, from different places in Palestine, Gaza Strip, West Bank, Jerusalem, and even outside uh, the Palestinian territories. She has covered the elections in the United States and other places in the mm. and, and United Kingdom, in Europe, and in Arab world. It is a big loss for us, for all the her family uh, and uh, her colleagues uh, in, in, in Palestine and outside Palestine. Mm. Indeed, Shireen Abu Akla was an Arab household uh, name. And uh, uh, regarding the details of her <clears throat> killing, it really was an, a brutal crime. It was assassination in cold blood. According to the footage uh, uh, that has been taken by our colleague, the cameraman who was with Shireen, and according mm. to the eyewitnesses, and even the local uh, journalists who were near uh, and beside Shireen Abu Akla, and uh, an Israeli soldier, an Israeli sniper, has shot her in her head, and she was killed early morning. We received here in Doha a message an early morning in uh, local time, 6.13 a.m. from Shireen Abu Akla, by, yeah. uh, through the email, saying that there is an raid in Jenin, and she's heading to this place to cover and go live. Later on, just a few minutes later on, we received this shocking news about uh, her injury and uh, this bullet that her uh, hit his uh, her head and causing the death uh, mm. of uh, Shireen Abu Akhla. Tamar, really the... Based on uh, sorry to interrupt details, you. I know we've it, got a, yes. a satellite delay here, but the Israelis initially, they were very quick to say, no, she was killed by Palestinian fire. Um, are they sticking to that or are they now saying, actually, there needs to be an investigation? Through the day, we are witnessing we are witnessing a changing of the Israeli narrative regarding this crime. First, they are saying it was an, a Palestinian gunman. Then they said it was an, a, she was in a, a in the middle of a crossfire, exchange fire. Then they said we are asking for investigation, and in the end, they reacted everything. So, based on our colleagues on the ground, based on the eyewitnesses, the details are clear for us. It, she has been shot by an Israeli sniper. And she wasn't in the in middle of any crossfire. She was mm. in a safe place, wearing her uh, breast, uh, vest and her mm. helmet was clear on her vest breast. She was among other journalists. She wasn't alone. And she was sh shot in her head. It wasn't clear for us in Al Jazeera that this was assassination, this is, was a crime, and this is, was... Uh, and a killing, uh, murdering uh, uh, Shireen Abu Akla in cold blood indeed. 
And so, so Tamar, who needs who needs to, to speak up here? We are talking we are talking yes. about it, which is important. People are going to be talking about this everywhere. I'm just seeing the White House uh, press secretary saying that investigating attacks on independent media are of paramount importance, and they are. But there needs to be something very strong here because this keeps happening. Yes, this is what we are saying. We are condemning this crime and we are calling the international community. We are <clears throat> calling all of the uh, concerned parties and all the organizations to stand up for the justice of Shirin Abu Akhla. This is was targeting journalism, the freedom of speech, the press freedom. Shirin Abu Akhla paid the price. She was killed in cold blood while she was doing her job, while was doing her uh, covering on the ground. And she was killed despite she was wearing her vest and her helmet. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we witnessing this uh, crimes more and more. And we are mm -hmm. calling for everyone to stand up for justice, to, 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 to protect the journalism and journalists, and mm -hmm. not to allow to this crimes to be repeated. And yeah. we believe that we will go on. We will not give up. And one day, the responsible of these crimes will be held uh, accountable. Tamara Michelle from Al Jazeera in Doha. Again, condolences from all of us here, and thank you for your time.